Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be about um, clay molds and uh, the products that I use. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I, I just was asked to do uh, a little more on clay molds and so I just want to show you some of the uh, techniques, a couple of techniques that I use. And this is the IOD uh, clay, air dry clay, and it's what I use primarily. Um, but I'm trying a new clay also in this video. Uh, so I'll just let you know how that goes. Now these, uh, these uh, molds and impressions will go on flower pots and I'll show you what they look like in the end but uh, I'm not going to show that entire process. This is just to show you how these clay molds work. Now this little stamp here I bought at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago uh, and um, I'm just going to make an impression on this clay that I've rolled thin. Now I did put some cornstarch down on my surface and I also put cornstarch on um, my wooden dowel that I'm using to roll this out. And then of course I'm just cutting this out and the reason I'm using child scissors here is because I was at my house and didn't realize I had all my scissors at the shop. Uh, so I just made do, but it worked well because this is very easy to cut. Uh, now this is a, a clay mold that I got and it is an IOD mold and it is um, called the Fleur de Lis. And the reason I got it, the main reason that I got it was because of this little bunny that I thought was just so cute. Uh, but there's also a cute little rooster on it. And and um, I'm not real sure what both of those have to do with the Fleur de Lis, but, um, but I do like this little uh, mold set. Uh, so here I'm using the IOD clay and I'm just showing you how this works. And you just kind of press your, uh, you work your clay in your hands a little bit to make it more pliable. And then uh, you just put enough in there that you think will fill up that little mold. And then you just kind of press on it with your hands and push toward the outer edge so that you can clip off that, um, the excess um, clay and clean up the edges. Uh, and these IOD molds that are different than the thing that's different from the other molds, I usually get um, the other one that I get is the redesign. Uh, but what is different from with this one is it has a little raised edge all the way around the outside of the mold. And so it's very easy to clean up that, uh, that mold. And I'm sorry this is out of frame here, but this little bunny, I'll show you in the end. And, and, well, there it is. Um, is uh, just a really cute little bunny. Now here I am going to do the rooster. I'm going to attempt to do the rooster. This is the Genova Art Clay and I tried this because it, it it is cheaper and the first thing I noticed about this is that it's very lightweight uh, and I did like that. Um, and I wanted to uh, to try this and see if um, how it compares to the IOD clay. I've tried uh, one other clay, and I can't even think of the name of it. But it it just it stuck to the mold so bad, even with the cornstarch. And and you do put that cornstarch in inside the mold. I just kind of brush it with a little brush, and then just kind of remove the excess. And the first thing I noticed is pulling this out is how pliable this is. And I liked that. Um, and it looks like it would be sticky, but it isn't sticky at all. Um, but um, it is very pliable. So, uh, so I started working this clay and then you, obviously you don't have to work it at all because it's just, it's so pliable already. But I started trying to use this in this mold. Well, it didn't stick to the mold. I didn't have that problem at all like I did with the other clay. But uh, I'm going to let you see how this went trying to create some shape here. Uh, I just couldn't do anything with it. It just didn't want to work on in these molds. And 
I feel like I gave it a really good try, but it, it just did not want to, um, to clean up those edges. It just kept pulling almost like gum, except that it isn't sticky. And uh, so it just didn't work in this mold. Uh, even when I tried to get it out, it just, it didn't really hold any kind of shape. So this was a fail. As you can see, it, it, it just didn't hold its shape at all. So um, at this point, I still wasn't ready to give up on this clay because I did love that it was very pliable and easy to work with or easy to handle. So I decided to try some clay impressions. And uh, with these clay impressions, just like the other one, you just roll it out. And it, as you can see, it was very easy to roll out. Uh, and then, because I wasn't sure about whether this would stick, I did put some cornstarch on my on my actual stamp. Uh, and this, I was really happy with how this worked out. Uh, I loved that it was lightweight, and I loved that it was pliable, uh, because one thing with the air dry clays, or the ones that I've tried, they're somewhat fragile. Uh, and you have to be careful about handling them that you don't crack them. Uh, but this one, not at all. I could have flopped it around or did whatever, and it, it would have held together. It was very, very flexible. So I think I will be using these uh, with a lot of my impressions. Now, one thing that I did notice about this clay when it dried is that um, the IOD clay has a hard uh finish when it dries uh, but now this has more of a foamy finish it still dries but it has almost um, almost like um, styrofoam um, but not exactly but like I said it you know it's cured you can tell that it's cured when it dries but it just has a, a softer feel to it than the IOD clay, which I don't mind, especially on these on these um, flower pots. I wouldn't recommend it for um, furniture because obviously you want that to dry hard. Uh, but as you can see, I'm doing another impression here and uh, was really happy with how that turned out. So the Genova Art Clay, uh, great for impressions for certain items. Uh, but not for furniture and um, and definitely not good for these molds. Now here I'm showing you that same little rooster that I tried to do with the with the uh, Genova art clay and uh, now I'm doing it with the IOD clay and you'll see the difference. It, it was just uh, a lot different. This one holds its shape and um, it takes a little more working with your hands because it's not as pliable, but it does work. I'm still going to be looking, checking some other clays to see if I like them as well. Uh, just mainly because of uh, cost efficiency, but, um, but until I find one, this IOD clay is what I'm going to be using. Now this next mold that I'm going to show you is the lock and key mold and that's also one from uh, the IOD and um, it's a neat little mold to use and I'm just doing this little uh, decorative keyhole here and uh, I'm doing this also with the IOD. Now I did try the other clay in another mold uh, that was uh, that didn't have very much detail on it to see if if that was the problem and it wasn't it didn't work on that either so uh, but that little keyhole i think is really cute okay now i'm going to show you how i add these uh, molds to uh, these items now because uh, these are rounded items i can't let these dry flat so um I have two options here. I could put some plastic wrap over my item and lay this and let it dry and uh, harden and then go back and glue it. Or, and I've seen it done both ways, uh, you could uh, just put it on 
before it's cured and that's what my that's what i'm doing because i've tried this and it works it holds really well uh you want to wait obviously to paint it until it's dried overnight uh, but these hold really well and i wasn't sure at the time if this new clay would but it did also uh, so i just it's so much easier for me just to and there's that cute little bunny uh, but it's just so much easier for me to just go ahead and and put the glue on while it's uh while it's wet now there's a few options or several options actually of glue uh, i started out using the e6000 and it works really good it holds really good but uh, there's some slippage so um, until it dries you have to kind of lay it flat and make sure that you that it doesn't slide uh, also the gorilla glue the gorilla glue holds holds really well um, but uh, again you get some slippage with it also but now this tight bond uh, it really works I've definitely had the best results with it so um, that's just what I'll be using in the future because as you can see, I was able to just set those pots up and not have to worry about them sliding. Uh, and the same thing with this pot. Um, but this little pot is just a little, uh, some sort of kitchen pot, but I just like the shape of it. And so I'm gonna be adding legs to this and turning it into a flower pot. And I'll let you see what that looks like in the end. But again, I'm not gonna take you through the process of painting these items. Um, I just glue these on, let them dry overnight. And then, um, and then I painted the color that I wanted on them and uh, let that dry well. And then, uh, then I used waxes to achieve the look that I ended up with. Most of these molds, I went over with some dark wax uh, before I went over them with white wax. And here I'm using these little peat pots. And uh, you would think you couldn't use these, but they are just, they make cute little um, spring decor. And I'm gonna be making little um, baskets out of them. So, um, and I may do that later on a, on a tutorial. I'm trying to keep this short. Uh, I just take a little wooden dowel and poke holes in the side and then use that wired um, jute at, that you get at the Dollar Tree and just kind of poke it in there and put some hot glue to kind of hold it and make that little handle. And, uh, and then I just go over these also with the dark and the white wax. And then I just add a little bit of um, Spanish moss and some little eggs and it makes a, a, a really neat little spring decor piece. And here's one of those after I added some, I just added a little dark wax on that mold and then white wax over the whole thing. And it just kind of changes these up completely and gives it a neat little look. And here's what they look like finished. And I think they just turned out so neat. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope I've inspired you to try some of these clay molds uh, experiment. You can give items a completely different look, especially when you add the wax. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you have a, a wonderful day and God bless you and your family.